So how do you cut vinyl plank flooring to wrap around a wall and have an extra cut at the end of the wall? Well, let me clarify all this for you. What's good? It's Michael Alter here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, I'm going to break it all down how to cut vinyl plank flooring without any tricky tools, fancy things, or anything like that. So first things first, we reversed the plank, right? And we lined it up with the existing plank. Now I'm going to snap that end off so when I spin it around, the cut end goes right up against the wall. Boom! There we go. So it's lined up in that aspect, but now we have to notch things out. So I'm going to show you a little trick you can use to notch things out without any fancy tools, just using your knife and maybe a template for a straight edge. So we have it lined up. Now we're going to mark what we need to cut out. So I'm just going to score it a couple times with my knife right here. Get a nice line made in it. Next we're going to get that out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and bring in what I like to call a dummy plank or a template plank that we're going to trace off of for the next one. So we're going to interlock this into the following row. See how we locked that in? We still got the gap there, and that's the piece we're going to cut to fill into there. Watch how we do this now to make life really simple. We're going to take the piece that we're going to cut. We're going to set it right on top of the plank we just interlocked there, right? And we had the spot where we scored along the wall there. Everything's lined up. We made that little line along the wall where it's got to get notched out from. Now we're going to take another plank and we're going to stick this right up against the wall now. So we got it lined up against the wall. It's going to show us the line we need to cut out. And all we're going to do is take our knife and run it down that a couple times. Just a simple score here. So no measuring, no uh, super fast squares, speed squares or whatever. Just basic templates using vinyl plank flooring that you already have. And you're going to use that to get the installation done. So we're going to go ahead and trace this a couple times right now. Run your blade down. You want to score it at least twice in most cases so you can snap it out without actually breaking the plank. And this will only work on vinyl plank flooring. Laminate floor would be a hot mess so you definitely want to break out a saw for that. So now that we have everything scored, we're going to wiggle it back and forth to go ahead and start to break the plank without actually snapping any extra parts. So I went lengthwise first, try to get a good angle for you to see. You see how I'm just slowly bending that to get that line? Work your way all the way down to the cross seam there. That's going to be the notched out area. Then we're going to bend that. Let's go ahead and help it out a little bit here. Finish out that line so they're connecting. And all you got to do is score that a couple times. Good to go. Go ahead and finish that piece out. Boom, boom. Remove that existing part. Toss it to the side because you don't need it. Now we're going to go ahead and take the template piece out. Get that out of your way just for a second. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the fill piece that we had cut out. So as you can see, no tape measures, no saws, no speed squares, nothing. Just a knife and your existing planks to get things done. Now, if you need help getting this tapped in, you could always use a piece of a plank, lock it onto there, and then tap it with a hammer. You don't need tapping blocks either. See this? Like, I'm saving you crazy money right now. Watch this right here. Little template plank, boom, 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 and we're good to go. That's all there is to this. So if you have any questions about how to install vinyl plank flooring, I want you to comment below. I'll create a video for you, and I appreciate you tuning in.